What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor. And today, we're going to be talking about some things, okay? I initially today wanted to make a video about a couple of different things. First of all, I apologize that I didn't make a video the last two days. When I made my first video coming back to YouTube making that announcement, I actually went and got the Roni booster later on that day. It wasn't planned. I was stuck in bed the whole next day. And then the day after, I wasn't too bad, but I did end up getting sick in the evening. And now today, I feel back to normal. So, you know, I want to sit down, I want to make a video. And I sat down with full intentions of making a video. I've been sat here for close to three hours now. And I've been on Seeking Alpha, I've been on Yahoo Finance, I've been in my Discord. I've just been reading, okay? And I've had lots of different ideas. And I was looking at Tesla after the crazy move that happened a couple of days ago. I was going to speak about Palantir just because... When I was making videos a while back, we spoke about Palantir a lot, and I kind of like where they are right now in the long term. And there was loads of different things, some greater macroeconomic deals going on in the world, how insane the markets still are. And I just can't string it quite together. To add to that, for some reason, my camera quality is really bad. Let me show you guys. If I go full screen, like, why is my camera doing this? I have a really good camera. It used to be okay. So that was frustrating me. I was trying to fix that. My lighting seems really bad. It was just things weren't going exactly to plan, okay? And then I realized that's what I'm going to make a video about today. Things not exactly going to plan, but still getting on with it, okay? Because that's something I need to start doing a lot, lot more often. There's a saying that I love out there, which is simply just doing something is better than doing nothing. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing something. I'm making a video. It might not be the best video in the entire world. It might not provide the most value in the entire world, but it's better than not making a video for me and hopefully for some people watching it. Because I tried to begin, you know, making an outline for a Tesla video and it just wasn't coming together for me. I tried making an outline for some of the greater world news that's happening and it just wasn't coming out for me. I tried making a video about the S&P 500 and again, it just wasn't working for me today. That's just the way it is. You guys got to keep in mind that you know, I see myself as a beginner on YouTube now. The only difference between now and when I actually started is I have a few more subscribers. But I'm looking at myself, you know, back when I started initially. And I'm, I feel like a beginner. And I feel like I'm relearning an awful lot of things here. And it's not coming anywhere near as naturally as it used to. And the confidence isn't even quite there yet. I have to build all that back up. I can't sit down as easy as I used to and just, boom, have ideas absolutely everywhere. Especially since I want to bring slightly more polished slightly better hopefully quality of content going forwards I, I just realized what the background is it is me i found a reddit thing from two years ago about people people speaking about cam links you can see all these different tabs i have open anyway that that's irrelevant i'm still here we're still talking that's what's important treat it as a podcast if you want the main premise of today's video is just do what i'm doing right now do something it's going to be better than doing nothing okay a year or so ago, I found that really easy. I found it really easy. I got up in the morning, I did everything. You know, the first thing I would do is I'd make a YouTube video. Then I'd make some food. Then I'd make another YouTube video. Then I'd go to the gym. Then I might see my girlfriend. Then I might make another YouTube video. And then I might do some cardio. I might go on a walk. Whatever. Then I go to bed. As of late, I've fallen into bad habits and I find it really difficult to do little things. And I want to be honest with you guys here. You know, when I made that video open up about my mental health, it was good for me and I know it was good for a lot of other people. I want to keep it real, guys. You know, now it's not so easy for me to do those little things. But today, where are we? January 5th. I'm sitting down to make this video after being frustrated for the last three hours. Very frustrated because all I want to do is get a video out, you know. I'm very, very annoyed with myself <laughs> that I couldn't do these things. So I'm doing it. I'm taking a step. I'm making a video. Even if it's just me talking about making a video. Later on... I'm going back to the gym, baby. You know what I mean? It's day one of me getting back to the gym. I've missed it. Something I haven't really spoke about on the channel because I kind of disappeared after the mental health video was um, the start of November. Uh, a very close, a very good friend of mine from school passed away. And the following day, my granddad passed away. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of led to a difficult two months for me. Uh, and right before that was when uh, I was at the peak of my mental health issues. So you can imagine it was quite a poor couple of months and I, I allowed myself to wallow in self-pity and I allowed myself to you know not do an awful lot and now I really am trying to break those habits because they are not good for anyone in the long term it's not what either of those guys would want for me going forward and it's not what anyone who 
is still here wants for me going forward. You know, you want people to be their best if you care for them. And if the last two months have taught me anything, it's that it, it's not good to let yourself go to that place for too long. It's not good for you or for anybody else to be that unproductive for that long, to allow yourself to be that unhealthy for that long, to, you know, not leave your house very often for that long, have bad ways of coping with things. And now I want to fix those things. And I'm hoping, again, that making a video like this, maybe it's going to help one or two of you guys at least make a better decision over the next week or so because i know it's been a tough while for everybody i know it's been a tough month or two christmas everything that's going on with the roni i know cases are back up everywhere it's been tough but you know sometimes you just need to be willing to take those little steps be willing to pick yourself up and just take that little step me again i kind of feel silly making youtube videos now as weird as it may sound to you guys because I'm a I'm a former shell I'm a shell of the former Jack Spencer Invest, you know. That guy pumped out three videos a day. That guy was bringing in 50 to 100,000 views a day on average. This guy can barely string together a video every two days and is maybe looking at a couple of K views, you know. But I'm taking the step, which is the important thing. That's what I'm doing today. I'm writing out all of my goals for the rest of January. Yes, I'm a bit late to it. I'm still doing it, you know what I mean? I'm still doing it. I'm still writing down those goals. I have a place where I'm putting them. There's a few people who are going to be aware of them, probably watching this video right now, boys. And I'm starting to act on them as of today. You know what I mean? I'm making this video. Okay, I'm going to the gym. It's happy days. I'm not using any unhealthy coping mechanisms. So I'm trying to get back to the healthy ones. And again, that's part... Like, you can tell probably just from watching me make this video, I'm happy to make it because... It's something that I can speak about very easily. I didn't have to make any sort of a script. I can just go off the top of my head and I feel like it is going to help someone. And they really are my favorite types of videos to make. And I think that's what I'm trying to say really, really boils down to at the end of the day is just do something small for yourself today. Or if it's too late where you are today, don't be too harsh on yourself. Do something small for yourself tomorrow because it's those tiny steps that really do lead to the absolutely huge things. And I know I'm comparing myself to what Jack Spencer investing was, but I'm taking motivation from what I did in the past, and I'm hoping that I can bring it better, just better in every single way, every single way. We don't need to get too far into that just yet, but, you know, I've learned from what's gone right and what's gone wrong with Jack Spencer investing. I want to bring it back, but just bigger, better in every single way, baby. I'm not one for all this new year, new me stuff. I think that's silly. I don't think you should have to wait for a new year to change yourself. But now is as good a time as ever. Now is as good a time as it's going to be in March, in June, July. But now is now. You can start that a little bit quicker, my friends. I do promise you guys soon, <laughs> there is going to be finance and stock related videos coming back to this channel. You just have to bear with me. You know, I've set my goals for January in regards to the amount of YouTube videos I want to make. The Discord guys are all aware of it. It's in the realms of 20. I'm already falling behind, but I'm going to do it. I know in my head I'm going to do it, and the majority of them will be stock-based. Don't worry. It's just going to take me a bit of time to get back into the swing of things. I would also like to thank you all for the comments on the last video. I didn't reply to everybody just yet. I did for the first few hours that it came out. I will get back to you all, but it's just what I've been trying to get everything ready again. And then I was sick the entire day after. It was like I couldn't even look at my screen, you know. <laughs> I couldn't even read the messages I did yesterday. But I just think if you want to make this year a good one, especially given the circumstances we're in, especially given the fact that, you know, there's a lot of bad going on in the world right now, you really just got to do take those little steps trust me they add up i know from personal experience that up and that's why i'm really pushing myself to take them i've put things off long enough let's get back at it baby let's all work hard let's grow together this year genuinely grow as people together that's what we got to do anyway guys i don't feel the need to drag this video any further <laughs> i really do hope that somebody takes something from today i think that somebody will you know i think i think somebody will i promise again Stock related content is on its way back. But anyway, guys, brings me a pleasure to say that I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. If you've watched all the way to the end, you, my friend, are a true legend. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.